Welcome back to the Kilowatts. Today we are talking about the new Model S Plaid prototype, the one that we uh, saw out testing today in Palo Alto. We're gonna give our thoughts on what we saw, we're gonna show you some uh, dash cam footage, and we're gonna kind of give you our thoughts on the Model S Refresh and the Model S Plaid. Uh, so, first of all, happy new year, happy 2021. Uh, today, my team, uh, we had just finished filming a uh, kind of a live stream about our thoughts on 2021. What excites us about 2021, what we're doing with the channel, with our rental car business, and uh, it was time to go grab lunch. And so I took the uh, new 2021 Model 3 uh, that we've got behind us here uh, out to lunch. And so I thought, you know, what better way to get some miles on it, get to know the car before I do a full review on it, than uh, go for a little bit of a long drive. So from uh, our studio here in San Francisco, uh, Tesla's headquarters in Palo Alto is about 35 miles away. Thought, what a better uh, drive than just to drive down to Palo Alto, go loop around Deer Creek Road and head back up. So that's what I did. I drove down to Palo Alto, and what do you know, uh, as I'm rounding the corner onto Deer Creek Road, uh, a blue Model S is coming my way. Uh, the first thing that caught my eye, and I'll, I'll show the dash cam footage, uh, but the first thing that caught my eye was uh, that this Model S had a, a slightly different headlight. More similar to what I've seen in the past with uh, Tesla's European headlights, uh, it seemed a little bit sharper and like more dots rather than kind of more of a smooth line. And so that caught my eye initially. And then I also noticed it might have been a bit lower to the ground. The nose looked just, uh, there was less clearance between the front of the car and the ground. And so I see that coming my way. You know, obviously it might be a prototype, it might not, I don't know. Uh, you know, Tesla's headquarters is pretty quiet this time of year. So uh, I, as I get past the car, I see uh, what I know and what I recognize as a manufacturing plate. And not every time you see a manufacturing plate will it be a prototype vehicle. Uh, Tesla has you know, hundreds, if not thousands of vehicles that they test all the time, and whether it's uh, testing for longevity or testing new hardware or even just vehicles that, that they have in their fleet to get things from A to B. So there's no guarantee that this was anything special. Uh, but again, seeing those headlights, I thought maybe, and then when I looked in my review mirror, I could easily see uh, that this car had a different uh, rear diffuser. The, the, the back of it had just kind of some different lines to it, more similar to what uh, Tesla has on their Model Y now. And so uh, I quickly you know, pop a U-turn, I'm following the car, I catch up after about a mile, and um, yeah, I basically, as I'm following this car, I can tell this car is just a bit wider. It, it really does look a little bit lower. I can't confirm that it's any lower than any other Model S, but it did look lower. And then um, the tires also looked pretty wide. Um, and so I'm following this car, not for very long. Uh, it's, it's gonna make a left and I'm planning on making a right. And so I just quickly roll my window down, take a couple photos on my phone that you've probably seen. I'll, I'll overlay them here. No, it was just immediately apparent after looking at those photos more in detail and actually after watching the car drive off to the left there that uh, this car had some other uh, modifications to it. And again, this being a manufacturing vehicle owned by Tesla, uh, it's indicative of uh, what's to come. And so I immediately recognized that the front left fender was a bit wider, again, reaffirming what I already thought that this car was wider. The hips in the rear appeared wider as well. Uh, but the front left fender is a clear indicator that this car is wider than a standard Model S. And then the rims, the, the wheels uh, of this car, uh, a lot of people have commented online that they look pretty similar to Tesla's uh, standard arachnid wheels. These are the um, kind of special Model S wheels that Tesla set some speed records with initially, uh, back with Motor Trend with a white, uh, Model S, uh, just the Arachnids are a very lightweight wheel. And so a lot of people are speculating online that what I saw was uh, you know, an, a standard Arachnid wheel. And I, I, I wanna draw issue with that, actually. I, I, I'm pretty confident that this was some kind of modified, uh, never before seen wheel. And, and basically what I'll say to that is, you know, with the uh, Model 3, we've had kind of this wheel for a long time, up until the 2021 Model 3, uh, there was uh, these aero covers on the wheels and then just recently, they, uh, they kind of smoothed out some of the edges and came out with uh, this new aerodynamic wheel. And if you can see on the camera, it's just everything about it is just smoother in the lines. It's, it's more rounded and it's a little bit more flat, generally speaking. And so, you know, when you look at these two, uh, the new 2021 Model 3 wheel looks more like the traditional arachnid wheel. And I would say that at least what I saw, if it was some form of arachnid, it's more like the uh, old-fashioned 2017 to 2020 
um, Model 3 wheel in that it has just a few more kind of straight edges, a, uh, a few more like sharper refined lines. It looks more muscular to me and uh, I think that that will be kind of affirmed or uh, clarified in the near future, but that's kind of my thoughts on it there. So bigger question. So what is this car? Uh, I tweeted initially, I, I spotted the Model S Plaid and while that's my speculative viewpoint uh, and I do think it was the Model S Plaid, there's a chance that it wasn't and, and let me walk through that. So we've identified it's probably wider both in the front and rear. It may have a new front fascia, but definitely new headlights. Um, the car that I saw also appeared to have wider wheels. Uh, a different rear diffuser, but the one thing it didn't have was something like a rear spoiler. My thoughts on that are this this is very likely at very least the refresh and that all of the new Model S's in the next few weeks or months will get this wider body style. Um, but I'm also speculating that what I saw was the Plaid Model S just without a potential spoiler. Uh, for reference, Tesla on almost all of their performance models have almost always had some kind of spoiler on the rear and so uh, while they're mostly just stuck on there, uh, the, the Model S that Tesla took to the Nuremberg ring, that the Plaid prototype that they took to the Nuremberg ring over a year ago, uh, that had a special spoiler. And, and the speculation would be that if, uh, if Tesla's gonna roll out a you know, two point something second, or, or actually maybe even two second Model S, um, that this would probably have a spoiler to just make it a, a little bit smoother airflow, make it look a little bit cooler, and make it a little more track ready. But the car I saw was, was already pretty track ready with that wide body, potentially new you know, arrow in the front, as well as definitely some new arrow in the rear. So a lot of speculation going on here. Um, my thoughts are that this clearly indicates that a new Model S is, is pretty imminent. It, it is coming and it is coming soon. That car was not camouflaged at all. It seemed like it was ready to go. So I'm sure we'll be seeing or hearing more of this car or of the uh, you know, full announcement of production ready uh, Model S very soon, and I'm very excited for it. And so if you like this video, please go ahead and like, subscribe, and follow, and we'll see you in the next one.